We also are joined by Morgan Cohen, who is also a member of the uh, Systems of Sustainable Consumption and Production Knowledge Action Network. And one thing that I thought was really interesting is just the um, general discussion that, you know, it, or the general idea that, you know, it might to some people seem a little odd that there's a sustainable consumption session during a Cities in Climate Change conference, but you were saying that that is absolutely not odd at all. Um, well, I think it's, I'm not sure that's the correct interpretation, is that we've had a situation over the past two decades that uh, the climate change research and policymaking community uh, and the sustainable consumption research and policymaking community have only had a rather tenuous um, and, um, and uh, an in insufficiently articulated relationship. And what's interesting about this conference here is that by putting the role of cities in the foreground, um, it makes it um, uh, almost absolutely essential that, um, that, um, that we begin to have a much more uh, meaningful and um, mutually informed uh, conversation um, where issues of consumption in cities and the uh, resulting impacts on climate change um, uh, becomes the, 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 the rising framing of the issue. Yeah, and I think that the, um, the, it was mentioned during this session, the idea of that um, carbon emissions aren't the problem, they're a symptom of the problem. Would you agree? Yes, so um, um, that, uh, that, uh, that outsized carbon emissions are a uh, function of a um, society out of kilter. Um, we can look at other indications, uh, the, um, um, the, 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 the astronomical rates of childhood obesity uh, is another example of a sort of public health manifestation of a um, problem of malconsumption. Um, and um, and climate change um, fits into the, the same category. I think we'd be, begin to make you know much more effective progress if we begin to see climate change not as a singular situation that is um, the result of uh, excessive burning of fossil fuels, but as that a, that is in fact a manifestation of other lying uh, under other underlying sources of societal dysfunction. It will actually um, make us think what we think of as a city, because as was talked about in this session, they are sort of uh, these beasts that depend on a lot of carbon emissions to, to keep going, yeah. yeah. No, I think the observation that's been made a couple of times at this conference about uh, of cities being reliant on a, uh, on a vast hinterland, um, we can also think about each uh, city around the world as uh, being reliant on its own amount of kind of imperial territory. Um, in order to be able to maintain and, and, and sustain its lifestyles. The other point that was made uh, in the, at, the, at this conference is the growing realization that we need to begin to calculate um, greenhouse gas uh, emissions not on a production basis but on a consumption basis um, raises a, a whole new array of, of new political challenges that make it you know, far more difficult to demonize countries like China and other low-cost producers around the world you know, who pr provide you know, the vast volume of consumer goods on which our lives rely. And that's the idea that you want to look at the full life cycle of sort of consumption and production when you look at um, emissions. So people are producing, um, their emissions might be different than if they're consuming and importing. Correct. So uh, I think a consumption-based uh, profile provides a much more um, 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 accurate and um, uh, portrayal of, uh, of what the sort of situation on the, the ground is. Um, and it also, um, um, I think, raises new challenges for, um, you know, across the whole range of the political spectrum, from mayors to city councils. But it, um, it also, I think, places cities, um, which, are the, which provide the conditions that enable people to live their daily lives to engage much more meaningfully in the climate change debate um, than, um, than national governments that are at a, uh, a, a much more distant level of remove. Um, they're not the authorities that are uh, providing police protection. They're not the authorities that are doing land use planning um, and imposing local real estate taxes. Um, and uh, people don't live their lives at the national scale. They live their lives you know, within the context of a city or a larger metropolitan area much and have a great rest of the conference. Okay, well thank you. Mm. <laughs>